Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick little video comparing my experiences with the last two Tomb Raider games, namely Rise and Shadow of Tomb Raider. Now this video isn't going to be a comparison between graphics, but rather a much more detailed take on the gaming experience of combat, exploration, and the basic features which affects replayability and enjoyment of the game. So when I say enjoyment of the game, I mean how you play the game that is the most fun for you. So like. If you prefer a more action-oriented playstyle, going through guns blazing and blowing everything up, or be all sneaky and try to flawlessly stealth kill a whole squad of enemies in certain missions, or if you just want to go around exploring tombs and getting every artifact and completing challenges and achievements to earn that 100% on all areas, well, this video is for you. So before anything else, I just want to make it clear that this video is purely my opinion and your thoughts may be different from mine. But the reason why I want to share this with you guys is because after playing these two awesome games, I found myself a bit torn in which one I think was better for me. And in the end, I find myself jumping from Shadow, then back to Rise, and then back again to Shadow, which is obviously the reason why I'm uploading alternating gameplay between the two. Because here's the thing, I think each game had a profoundly different direction when it came to the goals of the game developers for players to experience with certain emphasis on different aspects covered in one game from the other. To explain this, I've broken it down into three main points. Combat, which includes action and stealth, exploration and traversal, and replayability. With this I mean what you can still do after beating the main storyline. So now let's start with combat. So the combat in Rise of the Tomb Raider, I think, was more explosive compared to the stealthy predator slash hunter style in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This is mostly evident in how you control Lara in both situations for the two games. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, switching shoulders when aiming down a weapon is faster compared to Shadow, in which you have to hold the key for half a second before Lara actually commits to the switch. Now I say commit because if you tap the switch shoulder key, Lara will only peek on the opposite shoulder. And another reason why Shadow is mainly focused on stealth is because the additional features like Lara being able to use mud to cover herself to blend into the environment favors a stealthy approach. Also in Rise of the Tomb Raider, you have more missions that put Lara in frantic gunfights, where you take on enemies while ducking under cover and avoiding the crossfire. On the other hand, Shadow's enemy encounters are usually stealth oriented or at least encourage you to be stealthy. There are a few missions where you're encouraged to blow stuff up, but I think it's not as much as Rise, where I basically felt the intensity of gunfights after gunfight, making me feel like a badass action hero. So for me, in terms of combat, I'd say it's a tie. I love the intensity of encounters in Rise of the Tomb Raider, but I still can't stop myself from enjoying Shadow's take on stealth mechanics that make Lara a very scary and ruthless killing machine. Shadow of the Tomb Raider also has its share of Rambo moments in addition to the Predator style stealth gameplay. And I think this really gives the impression that Lara Croft is a very dangerous and efficient one woman army. The next scene really sent shivers down the spine. I'm the only one! You're the only one that can work! Exploration and traversal, this is where Shadow of the Tomb Raider takes it on a new level. There is no doubt that part of the fun in exploring the environment in Tomb Raider games is just admiring the beauty of the game world. I mean, come on, if you played this game and didn't stop at one time to admire the view and take it in for a second, you're missing out, bruh. I also made a video about the gorgeous world of Shadow of the Tomb Raider before, and be sure to check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Rise of the Tomb Raider also had some breathtaking moments and if you guys want me to make a video on that, feel free to leave a comment down below, I'll be happy to make one for you. But the main differences between the two are that in Shadow of the Tomb Raider you can now rappel up and down using a rope attached to your trusty climbing axe. 
and you can even wall run to swing Lara to the next ledge, giving you more mobility compared to Rise of the Tomb Raider. And these things really come in handy because Tomb Raider games are really about going around and discovering the hidden secrets laid out everywhere. There are a ton of things to see in these games and one thing I do like to do in Shadow of the Tomb Raider is turn the exploration difficulty to hard. That way the game doesn't give you hints on where to go so you basically have to examine everything and finding hidden paths are much more rewarding this way. For the replayability of the game, I gotta say I like Rise of the Tomb Raider more. While Shadow of the Tomb Raider does have a lot of DLCs and tomb challenges to satisfy your tomb raiding needs with the addition of new co-op features, I really like the expedition mode in Rise of the Tomb Raider, where you can replay any mission and try out different playstyles and different tactics to set and beat high scores you and your friends made. Man, if only Shadow of the Tomb Raider also had an expedition mode. I'd probably go with Shadow of the Tomb Raider if that's the case. Who knows, maybe they did that so that people won't immediately ditch Rise of the Tomb Raider altogether. Anyway, so that wraps it up for this video. If you like these kinds of videos, drop a like and a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.